Something impossible just happened in our solar system, and I need to tell you about it right now. For the past three months, I've been watching data streams from telescopes around the world. What started as routine observations has turned into something that's keeping astronomers awake at night. And I'm not exaggerating when I say this could change everything we thought we knew about interstellar visitors. Let me be direct with you. What I'm about to share isn't science fiction. This is happening right now at this very moment, approximately 180 million kilometers from where you're sitting. Its name is 3i slash A-T-L-A-S. But don't let that boring catalog number fool you. This object has done something that has the entire scientific community scrambling for answers. Back in July, it was just a tiny dot of light, barely visible, nothing special. We tracked it because, well, that's what we do. We watch, we measure, we wait, but then something changed. In early September, 3i slash ATLAS crossed an invisible boundary in space, two astronomical units from the sun. And when it did, something activated. The object suddenly started glowing brighter than our mathematical models predicted, not just a little brighter, significantly brighter. Now I've studied comets my entire career. I've seen hundreds of them and they follow predictable patterns. They follow the laws of physics. They behave exactly as our equations tell us they should, except this one doesn't. And here's what makes this absolutely fascinating. This isn't just some random comet from our own solar system. This is an interstellar traveler, an object that formed around another star, potentially hundreds of light years away. It was ejected from its home system, spent millions of years crossing the frozen void between stars, and now it's here. Racing through our neighborhood at 60 kilometers per second. Think about that speed for a moment. That's 216,000 kilometers per hour. Fast enough to travel from New York to Los Angeles in less than 13 seconds, but speed isn't what's keeping me up at night. It's what this object is doing as it approaches the sun. October 3rd was a game changer. On that day, 3i slash ATLAS passed extremely close to Mars, so close that every single robotic spacecraft we have orbiting the red planet had a front row seat to something spectacular. And here's where this story gets really interesting. NASA's Perseverance rover, sitting on the Martian surface, captured something extraordinary during its nighttime imaging session. The cameras recorded a diagonal streak moving across the star field. This wasn't a cosmic ray. It wasn't a satellite. The timing, the speed, the trajectory, everything matches exactly what we'd expect if we were looking at 3i slash ATLAS itself. Do you understand what this means? A rover on another planet just photographed an interstellar visitor as it screamed past at incomprehensible speeds. But wait, there's more. The Mars Express Orbiter and the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, both operated by the European Space Agency, have been conducting detailed spectroscopic analysis. They're essentially breaking down the light coming from this object into its component colors, like a cosmic fingerprint. And what they're finding is puzzling. There's a green glow, a distinct emerald-colored emission emanating from the gas cloud surrounding 3i slash A-T-L-A-S. Now, we've seen green comets before. Usually, it's caused by diatomic carbon molecules being excited by solar radiation. We call them swan band emissions, and they're perfectly normal. Except the spectrum we're seeing doesn't match perfectly. Something else is happening in that gas cloud, some kind of chemistry or plasma interaction that we don't fully understand yet. The American Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has joined the observation campaign. Its high-resolution cameras are capturing detailed images. The MAVEN spacecraft is analyzing how the solar wind interacts with the object's gas envelope. Even China's Tianwen-1 and the UAE's HOPE orbiter might be contributing data, though we're still waiting for confirmation on those observations. Why all this attention? Why are we throwing every available instrument at this one object? Because we're running out of time. On October 21st, something called superior conjunction occurs. The sun moves directly between Earth and 3i slash A-T-L-A-S from our perspective. When that happens, we go completely blind. Every telescope on Earth becomes useless because the sun's overwhelming brightness drowns out everything near it. 
Here's the beautiful irony. We can photograph black holes millions of light years away. We can detect gravitational waves from colliding neutron stars halfway across the universe. But a simple icy rock passing near Mars, it vanishes completely when it lines up with the sun. That's why the Mars observation window was absolutely critical. While Earth's telescopes are blinded, our robotic explorers on and around Mars can still watch. But here comes the moment we've all been waiting for. Between October 29th and 31st, 3i slash ATLAS reaches perihelion. That's the closest point to the sun. At that moment, it will be just 0.36 astronomical units from our star. That's roughly one-third the distance between Earth and the sun. And it will be traveling at 68 kilometers per second. If this object is going to do something dramatic, it will happen then. The intense solar radiation, the extreme temperatures, the gravitational stress. If 3i slash ATLAS is going to fragment, explode, suddenly brighten, or reveal its true nature, it will happen during that passage. We won't be able to see it directly from Earth, but the European Space Agency's JUICE spacecraft, currently in the inner solar system, will have a perfect viewing angle. It will monitor the entire event and relay the data back to us. Though we might have to wait until early 2026 for some of that data to be fully processed and released. Science isn't always fast, but it's thorough. Let me put this in perspective for you. In less than 10 years, humanity has now detected three confirmed interstellar visitors. First came Oumuamua in 2017. That one was bizarre, cigar-shaped, tumbling, accelerating in ways we couldn't fully explain. Then came Borisov in 2019. That one behaved more like a normal comet, which was almost disappointing after Oumuamua's mysteries. And now we have 3i slash ATLAS and it's showing us behaviors we've never seen before. Each of these visitors teaches us something fundamental about the universe beyond our solar system. They're samples from other stellar neighborhoods, messengers carrying information about planetary systems we may never visit. That diagonal streak captured by Perseverance, that single image represents something profound, a machine built by humans, sent to another world, photographing an object from another star system. Think about that. The spectroscopic data being collected right now will tell us what 3i slash ATLAS is made of, what gases it's releasing, what chemical reactions are occurring as it's heated by the sun. The brightness measurements will reveal whether this sudden intensification is temporary or sustained, whether we're witnessing an outburst or a fundamental transformation. And when 3i slash ATLAS emerges from behind the sun in December, we'll see what the solar inferno did to it. We'll compare before and after images. We'll measure what changed and what remained constant. Some graduate student somewhere is going to write their doctoral thesis on this object. That paper will reference everything we're witnessing right now. The Martian observations, the brightness anomaly, the mysterious green glow, the perihelion passage and it will add another chapter to our understanding of the cosmos. When I was young, people saw comets as omens, signs from the gods, harbingers of disaster. Today, I see them as laboratories, mobile experiments delivered to us by the universe itself. 3i slash ATLAS may never become bright enough to see with your naked eye. It might not create a spectacular tail stretching across the twilight sky. But in the data it generates, in the mysteries it presents, in the questions it forces us to ask, there's something far more valuable than spectacle. There's knowledge, real, permanent, revolutionary knowledge. This is how science actually works, not through sudden eureka moments or confident proclamations, but through careful observation, patient analysis, willingness to be surprised. In a few weeks, 3i slash ATLAS will disappear behind the sun from our view, but it's not gone. It's still there, undergoing its transformation in the solar fire, and we'll be waiting when it emerges, because that's what we do. We watch, we measure, we learn. The universe doesn't make things easy for us, but it follows rules, consistent, mathematical, beautiful rules. And within those rules, we find truth. Stay curious, 
stay skeptical, and keep watching the skies, because the universe always has more secrets to reveal. And 3i slash A-T-L-A-S, its biggest secret might still be waiting.